events like this when well, you first started? Well, my dad actually started Burrito Express 25 years ago. My brother and I have kind of taken it over since we both graduated from ASU. It was super important to become involved with the ASU community and with the community in Tempe as well. And um, once these NIL deals came out, I was like, it'd be really cool to support the players with a little bit of money, some food, some exposure. Um, and so that's kind of how it started. started last year with Daniel and Gata. And um, this year we decided we were going to do two athletes. We, uh, we picked a softball player and a football player. And she's excited, he's excited, and we're excited, right? It's very great. You're excited, right? Uh, I think it just sparked a lot of things with my teammates. They're always asking, so when are you getting a burrito? When are you getting a burrito? So I just think that within the team is going to spark a lot of girls coming and just bringing more athletes to give Angel at Burrito Express. I heard they're giving out free ones today, right? Yeah. So you told them come on over today? Yeah, they should start coming over, free burritos. So Elijah was done uh, independently with Burrito Express. Jazz was through, she had reached out uh, in general on Twitter saying like, hey, are there any local businesses that want to meet with us? Activate ASU, which I think is like a great small, it's not really like a business, but just people trying to help athletes just connect with those businesses. That was a perfect example for us to kick this thing off and get it rolling. So reached out to her. What makes Burrito Express burritos better than uh, the rest of the ones at Tempe? Uh, they're good, they naturally made. <laughs> when it comes to the NIL space, we started to get into it a little bit by looking at like, what does the rest of the country do? And I talked to a bunch of different, you know, collectives they're now being called. And within the ASU community, they do a great job of fundraising, collecting money and distributing it. And you've seen the various groups that do that and they do an awesome job. But we came up with the fact that there's a lot of businesses that would rather just partner directly with an athlete. Um, and so they get that connection with the athlete, they know where their money's going, and they get some level of return through the athlete doing something for them. And that they're hesitant, quite frankly, to just give money to a collective. From the NIL space, instead of just getting money, I think the biggest thing is I've tried to focus more on partnerships. Yeah, you know, you know, Cal, you know, did the best job of trying to maximize, you know, everything that they could. Um, but I think, you know, moving to ASU, I think they've made it a little bit further along, in my opinion. I think that there's more alums around here, especially in this area specifically, when you talk about businesses and stuff like that, that's, uh, that's willing to invest and having to invest. So I think that's been the biggest difference coming to Arizona State. We did more of a grassroots venture with uh, Ben Coleman from the football team and Smashing Devils Food Truck. Well, actually, ASU, that was just something I noticed on social media. Um, interacting with some places, it just started with, you know, one day, you know, when I came here, wanted to grab something to eat and just said, man, I heard there's some alums around. Um, I would love to get involved. And then, you know, activate ASU on social media was getting involved with, with my page. And then I was able to to link up with the, with Peter. And then uh, my girlfriend ended up going to Feel Good Tempe one day, uh, wanted me to go. And, and I and I gave the honest answer. I said, I didn't even want to go. When I went on Instagram, I was going through my feed. I saw activate ASU. And I said, is this the same place that you were talking about? She's like, yeah, that's the place I want to go. She went and got some drinks for me and I tried them. I thought it was great. It seemed like it was like a health party or something like that. Like everybody was partying, you know, for healthy reasons, whether it be shakes, energy drinks, uh, the shots they have to offer, all the supplements, uh, having a DJ on the weekends, all that stuff I found was pretty unique. And then uh, Peter was able to tell me that, you know, they're former athletes that started to feel good Tempe. So uh, that was a partnership that I wanted to get involved in. I think some media greens could be involved initially, kind of like a, a media green situation, but overall just social media and them interacting with my social media and then most importantly, me interacting with their social media. You know, they would love to, to invest in me. And at the same time, I love their product and everything they have to offer. So, I mean, I kind of offered them man, anything you guys need me to do, I'd love to do and get involved with. One of their goals is really being able to make the community better as a whole. And I think they're doing a great job so far. Whenever you're starting anything, there's two ways to do it. You can do everything behind the scenes, make sure it's totally buttoned up, everything's great, and then hope to gain momentum when you launch. Or you can just launch off momentum and have a finite period of time to build it up. I think you're seeing us saying, Okay, we're buttoned up and ready to go now. With NIL, it can it can vary. Of course, everybody knows, man, you got to be a contributor on the team, man, and, and you got to be able to, uh, to to prove, you know, people want to invest in you, so you got to be able to prove that there's something they want to invest in. It's, it's bringing more exposure from athletes because we're a team and we have uh, platforms that we can put out that Real Express probably doesn't. Um, it is important to note we don't represent the athlete. We don't negotiate on their behalf. But it's entirely volunteer. None of us make a cent. We don't take anything from any of these deals. It's purely about a love of ASU and a love of local business. What are you excited about for? To see the players. To see all the players. Go to the games. Yep, yep. We're all big time Sun Devil fans. So we're all... 
ASU has been talked about as being behind in the NIL space. But I think when you take the good work that the collectives are doing and you pair it with this local business grassroots approach, I think if those two things go hand in hand, we're actually leading in this space. Um, and so I think this is going to be a jumping off point for us to get back in the conversation around being number one innovation when it comes to just about anything.